Another beautiful sunny day here in the wasteland. <laughs> yeah, I wish. What's up, everyone? My name is Cap, and welcome back to the channel. We're on day 26 of the Wasteland Warrior series. Let's see. Okay, so these are done. Should go ahead and hack these up real quick, see if I get any more seeds for these. Got a little bit out of those. Uh, I could probably replant the aloe. It's not going to give me uh, the potato seeds and stuff from those two, but it's okay. I probably have some more down here anyway. What's going on? It's day 26. We're going to get... <laughs> We're going to fall off the roof. <laughs> Well done, Cap. I need to put like one set of blocks like right here. I walk off this ledge and almost miss that every single time. And that time I just straight up missed it. Well done, Cap. Well flippin' done. We still have some corn seeds, uh, yucca, pumpkin seeds. You know what? What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and plant a pumpkin up there. That way I can start getting closer to making some uh, pumpkin cheesecake because it's good for bartering. Plop you in right there. We'll eventually get... Oh, dude. Check out the size of this mamma jamma. Those things are huge and just creepy. Absolutely scarifying. I'm going to try not to attract him over here at the moment just because I don't need it. Uh, let's see how far away from being able to make farm plots. Wood we're fine on, rotting flesh, cool, nitrates where we're low on, and then clay. Only mostly just because I started putting all the clay into my forge, which is what's cooking right at the moment. Are you done? Okay, well somebody's awake. Hang on. Who's over here? Hang on, let's land on top of that. Hey, what's up, girl? Come here. Hey, don't go inside my house. And don't set my house on fire. I need to remove that. Uh, let me make sure this is... Right over there is... Okay, we're, we're okay for a moment. We're, we're okay for a second. Okay, so what I really need to do is I need to work on getting some more supplies to get ready. Hey, look, there's the results of a mine uh, to get ready for the next horde that's going to come up. Uh, that we're, we're slowly approaching there. We got a lot of work we have left to do on this. I do want to go through and see if I can't um, break down a few things and try and get some of these challenges completed. Like, that gave me five. Did that count? It did. Oh, we completed one. Concrete mix, 2,500 XP. Yeah! All right, let's see if there's any other trash cans around here we can rip apart and get that extra XP real quick. Oh, nice. Generator bank. I didn't even see that. Uh, I can wrench you apart and get the pieces for that, the little mechanical parts and electrical parts. All that's going to be needed. Trying to make sure. See, Edgar's slowly wandering over here. No big deal. Oh, there's a couple people. Do we have a, do we have a small wandering horde show up? Well, let's just go deal with these trespassers. Splat to you, sir. Arlene. Y'all can stay away from my working truck here. Are you dead? Done? Yeah, there's a teeny tiny little small wandering horde led by the drunken idiots. Smash you right in the face hole. Which makes me wonder if this... Uh, this dire... Whoa! That one. If he is, I was going to say, I wonder if he's close or not. And I would say he's pretty close. He's kind of all up inside the base here. Let's see if we can get a sneak shot. Oh, he went, full, where are you going? Dude, trying to get in my house. Y'all see that? Uh-huh. Okay, you stay right there for just, oh, that's not good, Cap. That's not good. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. He's like, where did he go? Duh. Bad, bad dog. Oops, sorry, I didn't mean to shoot you in the boat with an arrow. I mean, it, it works, but it's not what I was planning on doing. There we go, there we go. We got rid of one. Not what the plan for the day was, but hey, what'd you bring us? Anything good? Anything fun? Ammo, nice. Uh, not the gun I want, but it's okay. Sure, I'll use you. What are you? Scavenger hat? That's not too terrible. Red tea? You know what? I'll go ahead and drink it. Uh oh, hang on. Let me just take the rest of that and see who's over there. Tom! Is that your dog, dude? There's leash laws around here, man. Figure it out. Okay, so uh, let me make sure everything's reloaded now. Oh, I did make some more 7.62 ammo last night, which I think it was a whole, I don't know, 32 or something along those lines. Not a whole lot. But I was hoping what we could do, because in the last episode, I did go around looking for plastic, and I was intentionally looking at certain things and avoiding other things, and I'm fully aware. You guys are fantastic in the kinds of comments that you leave to let me know that I'm an idiot, and I don't take that personal. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. A lot of you are just like, hey, Cat, by the way, you're literally walking past, I don't know, 30 different things that give you plastic. How about you, you know, gather some of those up? That would just be pretty much ducky. Like shopping carts and trash cans. Look, there's the harvest polymers complete. Look at that. Look at us completing some things. To be fair, to be fair, 
up here, if you look at this right here, like dew collectors, oil, water barrels, window blinds, and some trash, I did ask the people that I know at the Fun Pimps if there was something problematic with this. They uh, they said that it was an actual bug, that the windows blinds were not giving out the polymers like they were supposed to. So, I was not completely wrong. I was not completely right, but I wasn't completely wrong. So, yay to me. Uh, hold on, I thought there were some more pallets. Oh, good God, a zombie bear too? <laughs> this kind of horde sucks, man. Y'all need to keep all your freaking pets in your zoo. All of your pets are mean too. All right, well, let me see if I can do some of this. We need a bunch of rocks. This is an easy way to get some beating down these little cylinder blocks that are laying around here. You don't take too many hits for it, and you get a decent number of stones for it. Mostly because I need these to be able to make more uh, concrete uh, or cement or whichever one it was. I am going to consistently just mix up which one of those is the right one that I'm trying to say. It's just going to happen. If I mean cement, uh, let me see, which one is it? Cement is the mix. Okay. So, with the cement, you turn it into concrete. If I could remember that, that would be great. But I promise I'm not going to... <laughs> I'm not going to remember it. It's just, for whatever reason, I has the dumbs when it comes to that. And I'm just not going to remember it. Uh-huh, that bear is not going away. I would not mind having another big old, red, uh, big old red sack from that bear. So, if we could get up someplace high and uh, kind of do what we did with the other thing. Although, those things have a... Hell of a lot more uh, life than the uh, dire wolves do. Where's my knife? Oh, it's up here. Put you down right here. I didn't just throw my knife down. Did okay. Make sure. Can I have your uh, your nastiness? Yeah, we need to. We need to. Ooh, I have an idea. It's not gonna be a great idea. But it's an idea. Okay, all right. Let's see if we can't get a sneak shot. Hit the bear right in the face hole. From here, we should be able to hit him. We're going to get a little bit of damage. Not going to be a lot. Pink. Um. Oh, I was about to say, there ain't no way he just went down. Oh, he's hauling some A now. Okay, so we got to be very, very careful. Go ahead and just stick another one in you because I already had you loaded. All right, now, if you could not accidentally disassemble my house, I would be okay with that, too. Uh-uh. Get a little close there, Chief. Getting a little bit close there. I'm, I need a lamp shotgun. I need a lamp shotgun. Come here. Come around over to this side. Oh, I don't like this capture. Where you go? Oh, shoot him right in the butt. Uh-uh. No, he did not. Did he? Figure out how to get on top of the roof. Oh, mama, he is freaking trying, that's for sure. If he gets up here, it's going to be a very, very quick mad dash to somewhere else, that's for sure. I don't think I'm hitting his head. I don't think this counts from where I'm hitting him in the head. I'm hoping he'll kind of just stay there for a second. Uh-uh. If you get a little bit closer, I can get my bolt out of your head. Okay, I'm not seeing any, like, degradation to the block that's underneath me. So maybe, just maybe, I'm actually hitting him. I'm seeing some blood splatter, but it's only about every third shot. I don't want it to rain right at the moment. If you could just keep your weather to yourself, that'd be great, too. What other animals are we going to have come by here today? No, don't say words like that, Cap, because then you're going you're gonna to find out the answer real, real fast. Oh, hell! God, that startled me. Uh-huh. Hang on. You gotta be close. There we go. Dude broke my arm. Dude jumped up pretty high and hit me too. Ow. Okay, well, there we have it. I didn't want to have to use ammo. 762. Damn it, you keep giving me ammo, but not what I want. What are you? Vehicle armor mod schematic. Cool. More wiring, so I got a couple of those. That's fine. Commando gloves, range damage is good. Give me back my crossbow bolts. Do you have one on your butt talks? I don't think you do. Great. Now I gotta go back and get a cast because you broke my freaking arm. Way to go, dude. Way to go. I need to probably focus on trying to get a tremendous amount of ammo. I'm hoping, once I get the base rebuilt, which it's not even close, that um, I won't need to use um, a whole bunch of ammo. That would be great. But I'm also moderately realistic. Yeah, there's the 32 we made. Okay, so what we need to do real quick is wear you and then just bam, 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 bam. 
Don't know if we got any doubles on any of that. Doesn't matter. And arm has been splinted. Thanks a lot, dude. Thanks a lot. Let me go ahead and use one of these. Get that health going back up. Much appreciated. I mean, I'm glad we took out the bear, but man, they have a lot of life. All right, so I have like three things to sell. I'm going to go ahead and put on my selling hat just so I don't forget. I'm trying to remember. I'm trying so hard to remember to do that every time. I was about to say, why is my helmet light moving or working? It's because you just changed helmets, you moron. So, not too bad. Little wandering horde show up, you know, right, you know, right at the very beginning. Nothing dramatic. A dire wolf or a yeah, demon dire wolf and a big old zombie bear show up at the same time. Uh, I don't think that's terrible. What's up, dude? Yeah. 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 All right. Yourself, so yeah. buy this. Why won't you buy that? I don't know why he, he will not buy this sledgehammer. I just don't know what his malfunction is, but he won't do it. And you still don't have any 762 ammo. Do you have any gunpowder? You don't have any gunpowder either. I'm pretty sure that's what's you know where the bottleneck is on me being able to make more weapons. Even if it is to a scumbag oh. like you. I know, I know. I'm a scumbag. I put on the wrong one. There we go. Okay. So we need to probably start working on trying to at least get some sort of shape to the base because we got two days, but I'd really rather not wait. We got a little bit left on what was here from the last wall. We can kind of build off of on what didn't fall down, <laughs> which, I mean, it's not a lot. Uh, I guess first things first is that I need to do is clear away where some of the debris fell here. That way I can at least be a nice flat ground. And plus I get the sand, I get the rocks, I get the, you know, resources from doing all this. You know what would be great would be have somebody, not me, somebody else who had an auger who wanted to come over and voluntarily do all this work for me. I'm not going to actually hire anybody to do this because I don't want to pay them for it. If somebody wants to volunteer, that's what I was saying. <laughs> I'm kidding. We did that in the uh, One Punch Man series. Had a chunk of my Patreon members show up and do some base work. And they did a remodel of where we were living on there. That was so much fun watching them do all the work there. And we had this sweet, pimped out little, you know, house that was way better looking than what it was when I was working on it. It looked so cool by the time they were done with it. I like being able to do stuff like that. Of course, it's just a little bit of a challenge to schedule that. I have to kind of plan it you know, weeks in advance, basically, to allow myself enough time to where that's even an option. All right, I think that's flat on this side, flat-ish. I do need to go ahead and gather up these things, get them out of the way here, and I could use the resources. All of my materials inside the base, so I have to go get it in a minute anyway. I see a uh, big car, or uh, big Frank over there, wandering around the uh, transformer area. Let's gather up a few more of these things. What I need to do now, uh, or, uh, not now, but what I need to do real quick is I need to see how tall this actually is from ground level. Let's see. One, two, three, wait. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I'm only seven blocks off the ground. Let me make sure that's right. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, so we're ground level is at seven. Now, their whole falling into rage mode thing is supposed to be less than 13 blocks. I really don't want to build up six more blocks. That's a hell of a lot of resources to have to build. And I realize that it would probably be beneficial, but I don't want to. So let me finish clearing away this last little bit over here, and then we'll run in, gather up some of our resources, and see if we can at least start putting Band-Aids on this base to uh, get it back to a functional status. I'm going to do something a little different with this to see if it'll help out. Okay, I think that's most of the random debris that was laying around on these sides over here. Uh, there, I mean, there's a lot more to have to break down. What's up, dude? What you doing? Walking around looking like Shaggy. Did you bring anybody with you this time? Last time somebody came stomping through here. Well, they uh they had a lot of people with them. All right, let's see what we got going on up here. Uh, let me see. Materials-wise, let me just dump all this off in there. We're good. I'm going to stick this back in here and hope that eventually, eventually, he's going to offer to buy it from me. I just know it. All right, you finished making the foods, which we're okay on. You, oh, I already got it out of you. Let me see. You are done smelting that down, and you weren't making anything. I can't make any more 762, can I? No. What am I lowest on? Gunpowder. Okay, well, how, what, how much gunpowder can I actually make? If I had a chemistry station, I could make a lot more. See, the nitrate powder is where I'm falling apart here. I can make seven. 
Is seven a lot? No. It's not a whole lot, but it's better than absolutely nothing. I'll wait for those last couple to come in here. That's going to be able to allow us to make, what, two bullets? Woo! Two whole bullets. That's just amazing. Two bullets. We're up to 68. Nice. Well done, game. Thank you for the for trolling me. I do appreciate it. Okay, uh, let me make sure I hear some more hissing and wander around. Frank make his way over here? No. You can lay your happy butt down too. I love this club. Now that I actually can, you know, swing it fairly okay without completely wasting all my stamina, that's even better. Dang it. I walked over here and forgot. I got sidetracked. Sorry about that. I forgot the whole reason I went inside was to pick up the supplies that I need to actually work on that. I'm hoping that that huge stack of wood that I got from the trader for doing the quest last time will help out a little bit over here. What I need to do is get, you know, this restructured and I need to break down a lot of this because they're trying to dig underneath it. And I guess I could probably do that, but eh. uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and top off the things that they damaged here first before we start filling in the cracks. They were doing a decent job getting or climbing to me. They didn't do a lot of work. I mean, they still had a ways to go before they would have actually got to me, but you know, and I don't think they would have ever got to me had the other place not got blown apart by the uh, random demolisher, demolition zombie that showed up. And I'm pretty sure, I had a lot of people mention in the comments, and I agree with them, that I think the reason why the demolition zombie went all nuclear to begin with was because Carl had gone all pukey and it ricocheted off and accidentally triggered his button. Yeah, might as well. Accidentally triggered his button, and so he just went to pieces, and I never even hit him. Because I was at first I was like, how did I accidentally shoot him? I didn't even get close. But apparently, I did not. Get you topped off here, and then we can... Okay. Center structure will be good to go. We'll put you like that. Okay, this has at least been refilled in back to where it was at on the back side, which is where most of them were doing most of the damage. Now, the front side, I still need to kind of top off a little bit. We're still going to have to make a whole bunch of cement, concrete, whatever you want to call it. I said I was going to say it wrong over and over again, and I'm not even doing it on purpose. I'm just an idiot. Now, I know the difference between the two if somebody just asked me out of the blue, but when I'm saying it in the game, I don't know. I guess because you find a cement, and then you find a cement mixer, and it's like, well, I have to mix the cement to make cement, apparently. Cause just the verbiage of that makes it sound like it'd be, it should be something entirely different. So make sure the rest of this is at least kind of topped off and okay. Get you upgraded. Okay, so we're at least back to functional for this side. No, that's not what I want to do. I just kind of wanted to tap it off a little bit here. So I need to level off this some more. This part right here, I think instead of building stairs off to the side which I'm going to need to have at least one ramp going off to the sides. Ah, you know what? Actually, I think rebuilding it kind of the way it was is not a horrible, horrible idea. Is it great? No, but it's not, it's not entirely a terrible idea. Let's make a hundred of those. It's going to take up a decent chunk of wood, but we need to get those so we can get the structure rebuilt over here. And the main reason why is because it was working just fine. Until Carl got all pissy, not Carl, until the demo dude got all pissy, and then it was problematic. So if we could keep, uh, instead of having a single path going to us, if we could get it so that there was like two paths going to us, and they kind of split off to the sides a little bit, maybe it'd be less likely to, you know, for him to get all pissy, or to get blocked where I can't shoot him. That was one of the problems uh, with the other side, is that they're all in a conga line, and, you know, going in a straight line to me, and so if they do decide to try and, you know, send in the heavy re reinforcements guys, like the cops and all those that blow up, I couldn't get uh, a clean shot on them, because they were kind of obstructed by all the other idiots. Let's see, so like that. That should be good, just like that. Now, our center structure, um, I think actually I had it squared off at the top. Well, no. Hell, maybe I don't know. Let me put one back in there real quick. Okay, so I think, where were you going up? I mean, having them go up on the sides right next to the stairs is not a terrible idea. And then you go up to the middle. Hang on, is that squared? Is that centered, I mean? Hang on, let me look. 
It's got to be somewhat symmetrical. All right, so we're right underneath the middle. Okay, so it is symmetrical. Maybe I just had... Did I have it like this last time? Y'all got up to right here, and then... Did I ha I'm, I'm, I'm trying to remember now, because it's been a minute since we built it the first time. Did I have it like that? I had one more on each side. I bet that's what I was doing last time. Okay, well, let me stack these up real quick like this. Okay, now don't break a leg. There you go. Now let me make sure. Okay, so now that'll work out like that. And what I'll probably end up doing is just put stairs all the way up both sides, like I was kind of doing last time. But uh, not make it so that it's, you know, having them be have to jump definitely makes life a little bit easier for slowing them down, but it definitely makes them do a lot more damage on the blocks themselves. So I can get all these on this side, and then I have to upgrade before I can put blocks on the other side. All right, so we at least have the structure. Uh, I have to do one more here, but that's not something I'm going to do right this second. Let me fix you, because I can see you're this giant glaring crack over there, and I don't want that to be a thing. Get this bottom level upgraded here. At least a cobblestone. Fix the remaining cracks over here where the wall's falling apart a little bit. I'm hungry. Well, there you go. Eat some stew. Okay, I think that's all the blocks that got lightly tapped and needed to be upgraded. So the structure of this is okay. So now what I might do this next time, and let me go up here so I can kind of show you, is uh, we're going to fix all these, obviously, we'll get up upgraded. But instead of having one path go out like that, what I might have it do is I might have it go, maybe I put it like an extra tower right here, and it'll go out a little ways, like straight out that way, and then it'll converge back into this one spot. So from there, I have kind of a line of sight on both of these that's moving that direction. That way they can both get over there kind of at the same time. I think I might try to do that, but we're not going to do that right now. I'm going to need a bunch more resources to be able to finish doing all the upgrades, and I am a little bit low on cobble and concrete. So we need to see how much of what I picked up here will allow me to be able to... Actually, you know what? I've been sitting here long enough. I don't want you to do that anymore. Yeah, I know I could probably tear down the... Uh, the mountain of dirt that's right there and end up using a lot of it here, but it's kind of my, I, I don't know. It's kind of my vibe. I like that. I just, I kind of like it being that way. It's just different. You know, I don't know. I don't want to change it. All right. So how much can I make now? An extra 263. Well, that's not bad. That'll allow me to be able to upgrade another 26. I don't think I can just straight up make cement. Yeah, I don't. I mean, I do. I mean, I can, but I just I have to have a tremendous amount of stone for it, and I just don't have it. Okay, let's see what I don't need my hammer on me right at the moment. Put you over there. Put you back right over here. We're good to go. Okay, we got enough time. What we can do is we can go see if we can do a little bit of work for Trader Dude while some more supplies are gone. So we'll do a little bit of work on that today, a little bit of work on that tomorrow, a little bit, hopefully, a little bit more work on, you know, day 28 and in time to be able to get it finished. I think most of what it's going to come down to is getting it upgraded. I think the structure of it shouldn't be too big a deal. But we need to keep doing some work for this idiot so that you we can... Buy uh, you buy it. No, no, no. Fetch at... That's a long ways away. And a buried supplies. Nine, oh, why are they so far away? Where, are we to that point? You suck. Splinter and you'll heal faster. Well, it's, it's working on it. Okay, well, uh, let's see. Are we close to any challenges we can work? Oh! I could go, yeah, well, let's go take apart some cars. We can get all those, uh, we can try and get some more of those supplies from wrenching apart cars. Let's see, I don't need you in my inventory right this second. We can go get some salvage stuff here. There's a couple of vehicles out here. We're a long ways away from being able to make ourselves a motorcycle, which would I'd love to have, of course, but it's going to take a little while to do that. Uh, I'm not even quite sure how far apart we are on being able to get that. I think like 20-something magazines? That fell apart. Did we get anything we needed? We need batteries and engines on that. Okay, not a big deal. Let's see where we are in terms of vehicles. Yeah, in order to be able to make the motorcycle, we need 24 more. That's a decent chunk. That is a decent chunk. Okay, well, let's see if we can't go find some vehicles that are assembled that we can take apart. I'm leaving my working stiff trucks right there because, well, I kind of use it. It's kind of my hop onto and shoot things. <laughs> and I don't really want to give that up just yet. We got two over here, though. Maybe we'll spun around the wrong way, run into a fence. I've done good on not damaging this. If I could keep doing that, that'd be great. 
Let's see if we can get any of the supplies we need. We need a battery, and we need a... Oh, there's the engine. Nice. Fantastic. Now, if you give us a battery or two, we can get closer to completing that little challenge. Mostly just because I want it for the, uh, the experience is why I'm doing those challenges. I did put my last skill point that I got into strength because it governs uh, melee with clubs and with shotguns. And since three of the weapons I use are those particular things, it's not a bad idea to have that upgrade a little bit more. I have the cigar in this helmet right here because it helps out with bartering. This does give me 10% more. So if I, you know, made the sacrifice and stuck it over here, I mean, I could give up the experience thing here, but I kind of like it. You know, that a tiny, tiny little bit of extra strength versus a bunch more experience. I think leveling up is probably better. Well, we did not get a battery. Let's see where we are on this one. We got one of the engines. We still need two more batteries. I bet we can get that done today. We, Like I said, these challenges are great because they give you a bunch of XP, and I need the XP. And I also need the nitrate. So we're going to swap you around. If I see a dead body... I'll probably run right past it, to be completely honest with you. I'm going to try not to, but if I see a dead body, I'll try to remember to actually <laughs> stop and get it. We'll see if I actually remember that in the next five minutes or not the next time I see one, but who knows? Maybe I will. I'm honestly surprised we haven't got as many batteries from these things. Usually you get batteries way more often than you get engines. Unless something changed in the, you know, the loot catalog or whatever, and I'm just not noticing it. But I feel like getting bat, uh oh, I feel like getting batteries is something that's always been a little bit easier. No, 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 no. It's always been a little bit easier than getting engines. But so far, today we haven't had found very many of them. Maybe we'll get lucky on this one. Nope, no battery on that one either. It's not a. It's not terrible. I mean, it's not like I have to have these for the end of it here. This is giving me something to do that I'm getting a bunch of experience for. So this main reason why I'm doing this here is so we can get the experience for it. So I, if I get this next challenge completed, I might level up again. And then I could put another one into strength. If I get one more into No? I, yeah, I need two more into strength here because I got to get strength in level five. And I can put one more into Pummel Pete. Since I'm using the steel club now... I need to get my Pummel Pete up one more so it uses just a little bit less stamina when I'm swinging it. Because if it's going to be me power attacking zombies is what's keeping me alive. I need to make sure that I'm not going to burn out on stamina the entire, you know, every single third or fourth hit that I am start sucking eggs. So we're making our way over here. I broke open this police car. I don't know if I can search this without setting off an alarm or not. It is empty. Can I... Okay, so I did pick this one here. We're okay on this one. I was just making sure that I wasn't going to set the alarm off because I guarantee we probably have some radiated screamers. Speaking of which, you know what? I should probably use that get the health back up since my splint is healing a little bit. Nope, no battery on that one and not another engine. But you know what would actually be a better, smarter idea if I actually, you know, did things the way they should do. Let me run by the house real quick. Let's see if there's a shortcut we can take to get over there. Because I'm pretty sure I have either a helmet or gloves or some sort of equipment. I don't remember which one that increases salvaging. Uh-huh. Well, let's just get stuck right on that. That's Yeah, that's great. And wearing that while we're tearing this stuff apart would actually probably benefit us a little bit. I, I don't know. It's another one of those things that I just kind of forget about with the new armor system. Being able to switch around. So I have like an entire suit of armor that I'm carrying around with me just to switch over to <laughs> help me out with other things. Grab this rock here before I run into it. I'm hungry, I know, but I'm sure I have some... I have some... I was about to say, what's that noise? I'm sure I can make... Can I make a hobo stew? Oh, I can make another meat stew. That'll kind of keep going. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and use you. Let's see what I have in terms of salvaging because I don't remember which one it is. There it is. Well, that's salvaging XP gain. That gives us, you know, that helps out with the salvaging XP gain, but it doesn't improve anything in terms of, you know, how much you get for it. We just get more experience for it. So, eh. Uh, let me see. Do I have anything that doesn't suck? Charred meat works for food, but it lowers the water a decent amount. Eh, I'll, I'll bring it with me. Go ahead and eat a little bit more here, because I got water. Water is easier to come by than it is... Um, food at this point here because i can just i can drink out of everything i have a water filter too if i absolutely had to Ooh, 
I could slap that into this helmet over here too if I needed to. And that way, if I needed to run over and drink out of a ditch, <laughs> which just sounds weird even saying that, but I could go drink out of a ditch and not get any kind of penalty for it. That sounds weird, but I have a special hat that allows me to drink ditch water. Fantastic. Nothing on that one. You know, I have a, I'm curious of something here. All right, so this one, if I track this one, harvest engines, I mean, it tells me what you got going over there. I'm wondering if it'll point me to specific vehicles that work better than others to breaking them down. I mean, like this, like it's highlighting this one. I'm going to go down here, but like that truck that's right there. Okay, so it's highlighting all of these. So I'm curious because I know if you track any of the quests that it'll tell you if you are, you know, in proximity to actually completing it. Let's see me having it um, tracked. If I take apart one that's highlighted, if I get anything that I need to, like if it's leading me to a specific one versus the ones that I've been doing, they don't highlight. You know what I mean? Let's see. Oh, there's another engine. Hey, sweet. Maybe there's some validity to this. If I get a battery. Didn't get a battery, but we got an engine. Again, that's two engines. Well, hold on. We forgot to search this one. That's two engines to only no batteries for today. Like I said, I use, I thought batteries were a lot easier to come by than engines, but clearly not. And another reason I'm doing all this is because I need all the iron as much as possible so I can drop a chunk of it into my forge so we can make forged iron because we need that to be able to do just, you know, a bunch of repairs and things. Nope, didn't get it off that. Did I ever search? No, I didn't search that one because it's freaking locked. But we do have one more across the street. I'm going to try one more to see if we get anything else from there. We're not going to get three batteries from this. So it's not like we're going to complete this today or anything. But I just wanted to kind of test this out and see. And like I said, mostly getting the extra iron that we need. And plus all of the uh, oil we get from that, we're going to need to be able to make some Molotovs. Because I have an idea of something else I want to add to the horde base that would make it a lot easier for me to set zombies on fire without risking setting myself on fire. Because <laughs> yeah, that happens far too often. Nope, no battery or anything on that one. No big deal. No big deal. We got two engines today, somehow or another. Sure, I'll take the nasty meats. Since I'm paying attention now, let's see. We got that. That'll give me a little bit of nitrate. Is there any other random dead bodies laying around? There's one right over here. That's not a dead body. you think here in the wasteland it'd be much easier to find dead bodies. And again... How many people are, you know, already know that I drove over, drove past, whatever, and didn't even look at several dead bodies on the way over here? I mean, I'm assuming the number is probably pretty high, right? If you want to, you're more than welcome to leave a comment and say, oh, by the way, Cap, I specifically counted eight or whatever that you drove right past. Like there's one next to the ambulance. Get that nitrate from you. See if there's another one. There's almost always a dead body, and then there's usually a zombie that's piled up right next to the, that. But since we already killed that person, shouldn't have them respawn anytime soon. Like, there's another one right over here. I'm just going to let you keep on doing your thing. We need a... I mostly need the nitrate for, you know, productivity things that's not involving the uh, farm plots here. As much as I'd love to be able to get those. So iron node... I didn't even search you. How about a magazine I need? Gas. Gas is cool. Hey, level 37. Sweet. Let's go up under here. Strength. Put one more into... I think I need to have... Yeah. Okay, so I can put one into strength. That'll bump it up. And then next time I can put another one into Pummel Pete. And that'll allow me to be able to use another less 20%. Use another less. You mean use less? <laughs> Extra words, Cap. Just keep on using extra words that aren't necessary. That would be a good place to go tear apart some things over there, too. But it's not a big deal. I want to go show you guys what I'm going to do with the Horde base. Okay, so here's what I'm planning on doing. Um, I need to repair that before I actually do it. So uh, I'm going to do it just as frames to kind of show you guys what I'm planning on doing. What I think would be kind of a good idea is if I build myself a little catwalk that goes around kind of like that. And the reason why is that way when I'm up on top of the base, I can come out the door, walk around right over there, and then I have a side view that I can throw Molotovs at angles and stuff here without worrying about the zombies hitting. Of course, I have a limited... If I'm going to have another walking path come out, it'll have to go right there, or I'll have to stop this one a little bit sooner 
so that they can't try and make the jump over there. Because them running around behind me, that would kind of suck. I'd be knocking on the door like, sub dude, guess what? I found a secret tunnel. <laughs> Good lord. Okay, well that's 26 days down that we have survived. Where's our where's our zombie count? 177 are staged at 764 kills without dying. That's got to be something magical, right? Hang on, I thought I heard... Oh, God! I did hear uh, something. <laughs> Blobby? Kind of startled me. I'm not going to lie, dude. To you, too. Whew. It's a good thing I was half paying attention. You'd probably figure out how to climb inside this base with me. Well, all right. There you go. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video. You know, if you did, do me a favor, leave a like on it. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe if you're not already so you don't miss out on future videos. And in the meantime, you guys have a wonderful day, and I will talk to you later.